Well, we're almost done. We have this episode, and then the grand finale, which I'm actually going to be giving you guys today, because I'm going to a costume party tomorrow. So, welcome to my final single Triassa Horror review for Triassa Horror 27. And this one's legit great. So let's just dive right in, shall we? It opens on a joke about Homer saying that things always are done by Americans too early, and thus they're getting a Christmas tree in the middle of October. And then they are visited by Sideshow Mel, the ghost of Frank Grimes, a leprechaun, and I believe that's Kang? Yeah, Kang. And of course, Maggie slaughters them all, and then the ghost of Frank Grimes is forced to sit through all 600 episodes of The Simpsons. And then it goes to a couch gag it's inspired by Planet of the Apes, where the family saves a couch, and then they kill it, and then sit on its corpse. <laughs> you know, only The Simpsons can do something that twisted. Sorry, technical difficulties. Here we go. One sec. Turn on when I'm doing videos. Anywho, now we get to the three segments. First, we have Dry Hard, in, in a parody of Hunger Games, where Mr. Burns introduces a Hunger Games style contest in which Springfield's children fight to the death for a day in Burns' personal reservoir, because he has all the water left in town at that point. Dust. So, they all start to fight to the death, and there's a lot of funny gags in here. But Lisa is able to get them rallied up together to go to the water reserve. And then it turns into Mad Max. And then they break into the water reserve, but they only get one splash, and then they get rain, and then a bunch of other crazy stuff happens, and yeah, it's, it is a weird segment, but I actually kind of love it, because it does such a great job parodying Hunger Games, so I think that definitely gives it some merit. Then we come to BFF RIP, where Lisa's imaginary best friend Rachel is jealous of Lisa's real best friends and starts killing them so she can spend more time with them. This episode is just nice and twisted, like, ni nice and deliciously dark, where you have a lawnmower kill, you have Sherry and Terry getting crushed by a tombstone, you have Millhouse getting suffocated with a plastic bag, and his imprint still being in the bag when they take it to evidence, that, that is morbid. And the big final battle at the end is actually kind of, is actually really funny because while Rachel is strangling Homer with tongs, I think, I don't know what those are, Homer summons his own imaginary friend, Sergeant Sausage, who does absolutely nothing and just dies. <laughs> well, dies, I should say. So then Lisa decides to fix her imagination and, and with the help of a little bit of side gags. Rachel fades away into nothingness. And then it turns out Sergeant Sausage isn't dead, but Homer's still eating his carcass anyway out of the exposed refrigerator. Microwave. This episode is just deliciously dark. Like, it is that dark kind of humor in that dark kind of episode that I absolutely love out of stuff like this. Then we come to Mo Finger, which is a parody of 007, and more specifically Goldfinger, which is literally what the title is a parody of. You get the point. In this episode, Mo tells Bart that the Barflies are actually covert agents, and that he wants Bart to join their team in Homer's place, because Homer turned evil and now he's trying to steal all the beer and set the whole world on fire with a lava monster. Only in The Simpsons can you see something that wild. And then... He rallies up the angry mob thanks to a drug he put in all their drinks during the free party. And then pretty much everyone except Bart gets absolutely slaughtered. And the slaughter itself 
amazing. It's some of the best carnage in any Treehouse of Horror. It is fantastic here. And then it ends, of course, with him killing Homer. And saving the world, but then pretty much putting the entire organization out of a job. But there's a lot of really funny gags in here. And yeah, it's a, it, this is a great segment, guys. Plain and simple. And for episode 600 of The Simpsons, that is impressive. My final verdict for this chest of horror, 9 out of 10. A 9 out of 10. Easy 9 out of 10. It is one of the best in this entire anthology. And I think it's a good way to end the single reviews of Chaos of Horror. Coming up next, it's time. You're going to be getting a big grand finale today as well, as we say goodbye to Chaos of Horror. As we take a look at Chaos of Horror 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33. Yep, six episodes in one review. Buckle up. Because we're going all out for the grand finale. Also, stay tuned because we also saw it in Prime News. So, a lot of content coming your way today. So, until then, thanks for watching. I'm Jack Small of Animation Station. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.